Welcome to The Five, where we cover different topics from news, media, and pop culture. Britney Spears found herself seated in the dimly lit SUV within the hospital parking lot. She patiently bided her time for two hours, while her boyfriend, Kevin Federline, was present for the birth of his second child, Caleb. After the new arrival, Spears and Federline returned to the LA residence of the pop sensation. Meanwhile, Federline's then fiance, Shah Jackson, was left alone in her hospital room, cradling her newborn son. In one of the most shocking revelations from her recently released memoir, The Woman in Me, Spears asserts that she was completely clueless about Federline's engagement and fatherhood of a two-year-old daughter when they first crossed paths in 2004. She writes, I was living in a bubble and I didn't have a lot of good, close friends to confide in and get advice from. I had no idea until after we'd been together for a while and someone told me, you know he has a new baby, right? However, in an exclusive interview, Federline's former fiance, Shah Jackson, vehemently disputes Spears's claim. She alleges that not only did the singer steal Federline away from her, but she was fully aware of the pregnancy and even waited outside the Orange County, California hospital when Caleb was born. Opening up for the first time about the heartbreak she endured, the former child actress, now 46, stated, I felt betrayed and crushed. I thought, how could you do something like that? Jackson had been with backup dancer Federline for two years when he encountered Spears at the Los Angeles nightclub Joseph's in April 2004. Jackson recounted, when Kevin met Britney, we had three kids. Federline was stepfather to her two eldest children and they had a daughter, Corey, together. And one on the way, and we were living in a six bedroom house in Orange County, California. One day, when I had bad morning sickness and was about six months pregnant, Kevin had an audition for a Coke commercial or something in LA, then I didn't hear from him for three days. I later found out they had met at a club on the first night when he went out with his friends. I felt angry and betrayed and I went numb. I went on to autopilot. In her book, the 41-year-old Spears insists that Federline, now 45, did a number on her by concealing his secret family. When a friend eventually informed her that Jackson was pregnant, Spears claims she confronted him, writing in her memoir that she yelled, you have kids, you have children, not only one child, but two children. Jackson had first crossed paths with Spears when the singer was dating Justin Timberlake. In another bombshell from the book, Spears writes she felt forced to abort Timberlake's baby and that he later broke up with her via text. Jackson said, I met Britney way before Kevin got with her. We ran in the same circles and I was good friends with the guys from InSync. I thought she was cute and adorable. I wouldn't say Britney and I ever became close, but we were always respectful and cordial to each other. Jackson was madly in love with Federline after meeting him at a dance studio. They moved in together after about a year and got engaged right after our daughter Corey was born. Not only did she find him gorgeous, he took her two older kids under his wing. In her eyes, he was perfect. Even after she discovered Federline was cheating on her, Jackson says she fought to save their relationship. We didn't break up, we agreed to figure it out. Then he told me he had booked a commercial and needed to go and shoot it overseas. In fact, Federline met Spears and pictures of them embracing on a beach appeared in the newspapers. Jackson said, for about a day and a half, I was in a state of disbelief. Then I called him and said, I need to know if you're going to be in the kids' lives or not because it's not a part-time gig. If you don't want that responsibility, tell me now so we can cut ties completely. I didn't care about Brittany at that point. It wasn't about her. I felt betrayed and crushed. I thought, how could you do something like that? Federline never returned to the family home. He and Spears became engaged in July 2004, just days after Jackson gave birth to Caleb. Federline and Spears married that September and had two sons, Sean, now 18, and Jaden, now 17, before separating in 2006. In her book, Spears writes, 
When I married Kevin, I meant it with all my heart. But Federline became enthralled by the fame and power. Again and again in my life, I've seen fame and money ruin people, and I saw it happen with Kevin in slow motion. Despite everything, Jackson remains close to Federline, who now lives in Hawaii with Victoria, his wife of 10 years, and their two children, Sean and Jaden. And Jackson holds no ill will towards Spears. I think her relationship with Kevin was a fantasy for both of them. To me, anything built on a rocky foundation isn't going to last, and they started rocky because he was in a relationship. I never hated Kevin because if you really love someone, you can't hate them. I know I've caused you a lot of pain, and I I've been really selfish. I guess I got so wrapped up in all this other that I never really sat back and had a chance to apologize to you. I really do want you to know that I, I am sorry. Thanks for watching. Please leave all respectful comments down below and subscribe to The Five for more content.